Welcome to CCB. Please like, share, and subscribe. Here we go. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome to this edition of Sunday Coast Bass. Today's show, I'm heading back to Pinho. I have no idea how it's going to be. Last time I was there was the day that me and Chris got rained on all day long. And by the end of it, one of the other fishermen said that there was starting to be some dirty water moving in. There's two things that can kill Pinho in winter. Either really clear water or really dirty water. So, I don't really know how this one's going to go. Well, I'm here. Hope you enjoy it. Only a pinno, look at that. Dock of Cormorants. They got their own little private dock they sit on out here. It's like 30 of them on that thing. I just gotta hook up something. I don't even know what I have, guys. I have no idea. I haven't really been fishing lately, to be honest. I mean, I've been sort of, well, it looks like I have a Ned and a, where I still have, look at this water inside my bag. Hmm, wonder when that's from. Yeah, did I break off the last one? The last time we were out? What? Did I lose my last flicking chick head? This is where I would have put it. I think I lost it. That's where I cut off and said I wasn't gonna use it anymore. See? I know what I'm talking about. I just found it, guys. I found my flicking. So now I'm going to hook up this. I'm actually going to use something I think might work. Remember long ago when I when I first started fishing with this one guy that I go out a lot with? And he was so nice, he gave me these baits. Do you remember who that was? Yeah, his name's Ash. Oh, yeah, it was Ash. See, Chris has a good memory. Oh, dude, did you see that? A big-ass fish just left right there. They are sitting shallow. Did you see him? No. Look at the puff right there. See it? Oh, yeah. It was definitely probably a bass sitting right freaking there. But this isn't a part I really ever show you because we often take breaks and just kick back on shore. It's more because we go to the uh, public restrooms that are here. Yeah, right. And uh, <laughs> we're going to have to, like, I don't know. I don't know. We should go on the other side. We should go over to the moon and everything over there. Right corner? Oh, in that in that other far pocket? Yeah, maybe they maybe they're maybe they're, so low. maybe they're staging there. That's where they staged to head back in the spawn. That's why they were there before, huh? When we when we caught all this fish, you knew that. Well, we caught no, we caught them on their way out. Remember? Oh, is that, that was, what it was that was yeah, that was. Oh, that's right. It was after. The spawn. Yeah, it was after the spawn. They were staging there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know. They might be in there staging to go in. You know, I want the water. Wait, mine can't go like that. I, evidently, because I was just thinking I have to take my pills, and I'm like, shit, I didn't bring a water, and he just threw water up in the front. <laughs> I didn't ask him nowhere. I, I was going to say it, and I didn't. I thought it, and he threw a water up front. We're heading back out. We're going to go try it closer to shore. Jesus. <laughs> I'm used to it scraping. I'm going to give it a go. I'm actually going to go away from the color you've seen me catch so many freaking fish on. No, I'm thinking of that. Yep. Green pumpkin red. It's more of a brown green pumpkin more than a green green pumpkin. I think it'll stand out more in this water. That looks good. Yeah, I can see all that happening very easily. Oh, Jesus. Really? Oh, that's right in between them. It's even right in my head. I got out. I got around the toy motor. Not much happening. It's uh, totally, completely different. Like I said, haven't been here since that rain. Water's come up about what, like two feet, three feet. Look, we're, we're getting a shout out. 
Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna go try that one area. Maybe there's some staging fish. We caught them one time on the way out. It was one of my videos I did with the uh, post spawn to, or yeah, post spawn to summer transition area. They use it on the way out. Maybe they'll use it on the way in. So we're gonna go over there and see if we can find some staging fish. Should be like nine, ten feet here, right? Yeah, that's a good staging area, guys. Back in there is a good spawn spot. Back that way. And this little teeny cove, as you can see, comes from the main lake. There's actually a lot of islands down here, and bumps, and there's an old road bed, and there's posts that actually come through here. Oh, there's fish. Yes. Is he still there? I got a bite. <laughs> I got a nibble. We didn't take it, but something definitely popped it twice. Little bluegill. Might have been. Checking out his stash. Checking out his stash. Look at what he's got here. Oh my god, he's got the good stuff. Damn it. Uh, oh shit, I'm toast, guys. I'm toast. One thing I don't have is just a great Hey, I got a nibble, man. Oh, there we go. Got him. That's probably the same guy with screwing me. Another fish, guys. Another fish. First fish. <laughs> we said they might be staging over here. And I found one. <laughs> go where you don't think you should ever go, guys. We just came over here and sat in the middle. I mean, we planned that out over there taking a fish. <laughs> I know. Look at the red, dude. I told you. Remember Rick calls us uh, crawfish condos? Mm -hmm. Look at how red that is, guys. Look at that. Even down his throat is just red as can be. And I'm using I'm using green pumpkin red. Ah, look at him guys. Yeah, he is thick. Thick. Look at his butt's already starting to get red. Alright guys. There are fish staging right here. I predicted something right. Twenty-three pounders. Oh, it came out. Did you have one? Yeah. Woohoo! That was a real one too. Yeah, no doubt. That was a real one. <laughs> uh, not like a fake one earlier. No, that was a fake. Please was a fake. dismiss the last bite. <laughs> Please dismiss the last bite you saw earlier in this video. We now have confession from said Chris no, no, no. that the other one was fake. All right, let it go. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. <laughs> I think I have a fish swimming with it. I, I think I do. It's, I still don't feel it. <laughs> Where the hell is it? I probably should have just let that guy grab it a little bit more. I think I got impatient. <laughs> he was all the way to the boat. <laughs> this fish has been on here for like 20 minutes, guys. Seriously. He's just been swimming at me the whole time. My prediction. My prediction, guys. They could be staging over here. That wasn't your prediction. Was you brought it up. To come over here. You brought it up and I went. Was that hooking even in his mouth? Yeah, it was right in here. Oh. There we go, guys. Man, they're thick. You gotta give credit where credit's due. Thick winter fish. Yay. Yeah, Chris mentioned it and I went. You're right, dude. They could be staging over there. He brought it up and I agreed. My instincts. Oh, of course not. Of course not. No problem. Well, you don't want to get stranded on this lake. It's a long, long way back. I guess they're using the trolling motor to get back. Going to our little uh, bay of pigs over here. Oh shit. Oh crap. Ah! <laughs> I remember this spot. The guy Chris took me here last year. Early... Early spring or something. Uh, yeah. 
Oh, dude, look. Look. Is that a fish? A stick. No, it's not. <laughs> there you go. It's stuck in a stick, but it's a fish. <laughs> he's got control of the boat now. He's taking us over into the woods. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, he's taking a drag. <laughs> Jeez, what did you just give up? A big old monster? <laughs> I don't know. I was, I was worried she get stuck in the anchor. I'm like, it's not even down. <laughs> yeah, at least you don't have to worry about that. Oh, he's a strong humpback. Number three. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty good fish. Yeah, they get sick with a sucker. Those are kind of like those ones we were catching when they were all thin. You know, they were like that same length. That's an over three fish. Yeah, they are thick right now in the winter, guys. They just got, got a nasty tick on them. Yeah. Look how fat. Good night, that thing. He's eating the whole damn lake. <laughs> he is. He's a stout fish. He's not even that long. You need to take a dump, fish. I think you're constipated. Damn. That's a toad. Well, this pays off again. <laughs> well, do the fish. You're like, no, that's a stick. Oh, there's another fish. <laughs> I need to get rid of this stupid drop shot. <laughs> not that big. Oh yeah. <laughs> you might have to put the anchors down. <laughs> oh wait, he's pulling us back the other way. <laughs> We're now going past everywhere. <laughs> wow, this one's a little bit bigger. He's longer. Must be a Florida. He's a lot longer than the other one. Dang. Getting thick already. Well, they've been thick. There we go, guys. Look at that. I got a fish for you to do that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I got oh, enough. I touched a fish today. So that tree's new now, right? It's on the water, yep. Yeah, that one that's cracked right there? Yep. Yeah. You can see it right there, guys. The one that's coming down into the water. Got another fish. Number five. <laughs> I think I found the color, guys. Green pumpkin red. A littlest of them. My limit. Where'd that come from? <laughs> All right. All right. No. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Where the heck is it? Isn't it right there on the end? Oh, my line's on the end. Well, where the hell is my freaking bait? Oh, I see. No. Uh oh. <laughs> Old man pole. Alright, that's the blue green algae, guys. Can you see why they call it blue green algae? But it's actually not an algae. That bright blue stuff you see there is actually a bacteria. And since they treed the lake, it now is here in the winter. It never was here in the winter. But now it's here in the winter. They screwed up the whole ecosystem with it. Paid them a million dollars to screw up the lake. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this edition of Central Coast Bass. What can I say, that's fishing. It went from a tough kind of bad day to suddenly a great day in like the last five minutes. Don't know. <laughs> but now we know where to try the next time we come. Because <laughs> they seem to be on this side because now they got three feet more water on this side. Or that side. But 
Yeah, that side's always been good when the water's high, and I didn't even think about that when we were out there. And as it slowly goes down, that side slowly gets less and less productive. But usually when it fills up like this, that's a good spot. So luckily, Chris came up with the idea right at the end, and so now we'll have a better idea for next time. <laughs> Not as bad as I thought as far as water. I mean, it, it's dirty. But it's like six inch visibility and it's not really that paper bag brown so and the water warmed up it was like upper 40s last time we were here now it's 52 53. what's up with you chris what happened to your mojo he's gone his mojo for fishing is just gone he's been struggling I lost my tackle box and that was yeah it. he lost the tackle box that one time and since then he's just been in a funk <laughs> all right they're uh tagging us I told you this before but here in california when you leave a lake you got to get tagged so they know you didn't go anywhere else. Then he come back and just launch. Had a little interruption there with him coming out and have to tag the boat. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. It got good at the end. Give us some likes. And share. And as always, sub if you haven't. And stay with us because he's going to get his mojo back. And he's going to start catching some fish. Hopefully. That was tough. <laughs> Scott kicked my ass. <laughs> I just got lucky, guys. I just got lucky. See you next show. Soul music, baby. Sweet soul music.